What is going on, everybody? We are back with this week's tier list ranking video. A uh, little bit of housekeeping before we get into it. A lot of people ask why I don't use music in the background for these videos or why there's never even like uh, copyright free music. Um, the story behind that is I used to actually, when I used to do the ranking videos or any of the meme videos, I used to use uh, what was told to me, at least by the title of the video and the disclaimer in the description, royalty free music. However, most of, if not all of those videos have been hit with copyright strikes over the last like 18 months. Um, so I just stopped using music because I was kind of tired of the copyright strikes on the channel, even though they didn't really uh, impact too much other than uh, the, the small amount of ad revenue I received. Um, I just kind of got kind of got tired of having to like dispute claims and, and say if it was or not. And even the Monster Cat stuff gets hit, even though they've come out and said that all of their stuff is... Uh, is good to go. Apparently it's not. Um, we are using Minecraft music today, so you'll kind of hear that flutter into the background here. Um, so yeah, you can hear it now. It's, it's going. It's the same loop I use when we actually play Minecraft. So that's going to be sitting there going as well. Uh, today, anyways, we are going to be ranking Nintendo franchises. These are all Nintendo-owned franchises, so you can see it from Advance Wars down to ARMS. I am going to actually like live tweak these a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and make just an ad additional, let's go, uh, add row below. We're going to call this never played. Um, we will make you the blue color and we should be good. Um, there are a couple of these I've never played anything of, um, and those will just go down there. I don't want to be a little too, too rude. We'll say. And I hate when they do this, like, is there two yellows? There is two yellows, but we're going to go that and that. Make the rainbow scheme a little bit better here. So um, just from S down to never play or S down to D tier, and then we have never played. B is going to be kind of my, I eh, don't really care, don't really not. It's just kind of there. Um, so we'll see. So I've actually never played Advance Wars. Um. Had that not been the very first title on the list, I probably would not have even included the Never Played tier, but Never Played Advance Wars, a couple other things on this list I've never played as well. Um, I do actually own a Game Boy Advance Wars game that's just never been put in, um, or played at least, so um, that's that. Animal Crossing, for sure, A tier. Um, was not huge into Animal Crossing, put a little bit of New Leaf and Happy Home Designer, and was kind of mixed on it. It was fun, but it didn't feel like there was a whole lot there. Once New Horizons came out, though, it has completely changed my view of this series. I've actually gone back and played New Leaf. I played Wild World, played a little bit of City Folk. Great series. It makes a lot of sense once you realize it's not there to be a game as much as it is kind of this like relaxation thing. It's phenomenal. Uh, Bayonetta, I don't even know if this is considered like a Nintendo franchise. I know that they at least published the second one. Um, Bayonetta, I'm going to put in the B tier. It's fine. First one didn't throw me that much. Second one, a little bit better. Uh, but overall, like, she's not my kind of protagonist um, or anti-hero, whatever you want to call her. She's not really my style of character. Um, so I just don't resonate super well with her. I do think that the game, the combat's kind of cool. Just her personality doesn't doesn't jive with me as much. Um, but I think it's okay. Donkey Kong. This is a tough one. I'm going to put Donkey Kong in the B tier now. Hear me out before... Um, you sway your opinions one way or another. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is one of, if not the greatest platformer of all time. It is phenomenal. Um, however, when you look at the Donkey Kong series as a whole, at least from what I've played, the original Donkey Kong, a lot of like the climb the ladders, uh, you know, style of games, not very fun. Some of the Donkey Kong Country games are kind of mixed. Um, I didn't really love like Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3 that much. The first one's pretty good. Um, so overall, I think the series as a whole is kind of middling, even though Tropical Freeze and Donkey Kong Country Returns are two fantastic games. Dr. Mario is like a D tier. I actually think Dr. Mario is extremely boring. It's like bad Tetris um, or bad Puyo Puyo. I'm not super into it. I played a little bit of the new game that came out on phones. Don't think it's that good. Overall, I'm just like not a big fan. Fire Emblem, I'm going to put in the C tier. Uh, great franchise. However, it is super duper not my franchise. Um, I'm not big into like strategy tactics, grid based games. Um, I don't really like turn based stuff. Um, and there's a lot of thought that goes into fire emblem. 
Um, I have tried some three houses and it didn't stick with me. I do plan to get back to it, but like, it's not something that I was like, man, I got to sit down and play some more of this. It just didn't, didn't fit with what I wanted to play. Uh, F-Zero is an A tier series. I wish this would come back. I love racing games and like the super breakneck fast paced, uh, F-Zero style of racer is phenomenal. Um, it is probably my favorite. I've been playing, um, the new Wipeout game or the, like the Wipeout Anthology. I've played Fast RMX, um, and they kind of scratch that same itch, but there's something about the personality, um, that, that comes in the charm of F-Zero that it, like has not been captured by anything else. And I wish Nintendo would make another F-Zero game, but I don't, don't think that's happening. Golden Sun, I'm going to put in a B tier. I like it a little more than Fire Emblem, even though, I mean, they're not really the same style of game, right? Like, this is more of a tactics game where Golden Sun is really just a, um, or the two Golden Sun games I've played are more of just like a turn-based RPG. Um, I think they're very good. I do think that they are enjoyable. Cast of characters is nice. I have not played them in a long time. I played them on the original Game Boy Advance. Back closer to, like, their release. Um, but overall, just not really doing it for me but like i enjoyed the time i spent with it i'm just not clamoring to go back to it kid icarus is a very weird one i i think i'm gonna put it in the c tier i'm sorry um i played the original it's bad it's like literally not very good um i also did play it when i was older so it's i don't have that like nostalgia boner for it and then like the newest kid icarus on the d on the 3ds is is fine but it was so awkward like it's a good game but the controls were so clunky i feel and you have to like put it on this stand to be able to play it properly it just it felt awkward and it kind of like nixed my enjoyment of the series <laughs> as bad as that sounds uh kirby s tier kirby is one of my favorite franchises of all time uh one of my favorite games that i've ever played is kirby nightmare in dreamland you've got amazing mirror you've got squeak squad um you've got uh planet robobot which is also great and has like a, a kind of fresh taste you got triple deluxe um i know i'm missing some we literally played star allies on stream um and on youtube not a great one but the rest of the series is phenomenal thankfully i haven't played any of the older kirby games where you can't save and you just feel bad um thankfully i didn't have to play any of those and nix my enjoyment of this but kirby man eh, phenomenal uh luigi's mansion is actually a never played um, I do own, I own all three, um, I own all three Luigi's Mansion games and just have never put them in. Um, the idea of it doesn't thrill me. It's got an interesting setting, but I, it feels like you just kind of walk around a lot. Um, and from like the gameplay I've seen, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. One day we'll pick it up and play it, but for now we'll leave it in that never played tier. Mario and Luigi, I'm gonna put in the B tier. Uh, I've only played, um, Superstar Saga, I believe. Um, which is the Game Boy Advance one. Excellent game. However, like, it wasn't really my style of game. Again, it's kind of this weird, like, turn-based, awkward, co-op-y thing. I don't know. It's really not... It's not a Mario game, and it's not... It's kind of its own take, and it's it's fine. I'm just not thrilled with it. Mario Kart, another S-tier. Uh, one of the greatest franchises in gaming history. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is one of the great, it's probably the best game on the Switch. Um, it's got everything. It's, it's perfect. I can't wait for a new one to come out. Every iteration I've played gets better and better. Um, I have thousands of hours in the Wii version, Double Dash, one of the most, um, ingenious takes on the racing franchise of all time. Uh, the DS one, we used to play every day when I was in like daycare and like, uh, elementary school, like we'd come in and we're all racing and you had that one kid that didn't own the game. So he stuck playing as just like a generic shy guy, literally just fantastic. Mario party. We're going to put in the A tier. Now do Mario party like three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. S tier for sure. Eight. Not great. 9 bad, 10 bad, Super Mario Party, uh, fine, except it's bland and generic, and the online is atrocious. Um, overall, I love Mario Party, it just needs, they need to revamp the series, they need to make the boards more interesting, they need to have the 100 mini games that they always have, um, and they need to make the full game playable in 4 player online, that's, I know that Sounds like a lot, but like that's something Nintendo should be able to do every time without fail. I don't know. 
look, man, do I have to say it? Super Mario, obviously S tier. Um, one of the biggest franchises ever. Um, I mean, like Pokemon is the largest media franchise in the world. Mario can't be that far behind, right? Like Mario is, it, I get that it doesn't have like the anime that Pokemon has, but it's, it's the game. When you're talking about a video game, Mario is probably the first thing that's coming to your mind. Um, every game has this level of polish that not every series that Nintendo produces has. Every single game that comes out, even if it's bad, is still excellent. Um, you've got Mario Maker and Mario Maker 2. You've got all of the original Super Marios, um, all of the advanced uh, adaptations that just enhance everything about it. All of the 3D Marios, like it's, they're all so good. Mario's S tier, no question. Um, I'm gonna get so much flack for this one. I don't like Metroid. Metroid Fusion, I had a good time with. Um, what is the other one that's in the same, the, the two GBA games? I don't even remember at this point. Metroid Fusion and the other one, I thought were fine. Metroid Prime 1 and 2 were like a snooze fest. Did not enjoy it. I played probably about three hours of Samus Returns. Didn't really enjoy it. Um, and I think that's... I think that's it. Yeah, is what's the ball one? Is that Metroid? Is that Metroid Federation Force? Something like that? Is that that one? That one was kind of eh. That would be like a B tier game though, but man, I like Prime killed it. Um, also, I used to have the uh, for some reason I had the Prime collection on Wii in a steelbook, and a friend of mine, an ex friend of mine, stole it, and uh, I'm still salty to this day that I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> uh, Mother, never played. Uh, I own Mother. I think I have all three on GBA um, as repro carts. Um, but I do have like the translated mother three GBA and I know I have like a one, two collection as well. Just never played them. Never got around to them. Um, okay. I'll just put you at the end. Are you something as well? Oh, okay. So you actually exist. Uh, paper Mario. I'm going to put paper Mario in the C tier. I have not played Thousand Year Door, so let me preface, Thousand Year Door is not a game that I have ever played. I have played Sticker Star, I have played Origami King, and I have played Color Splash. Out of those three, Color Splash I think is my favorite. Sticker Star was actually unfun and horrible. Oh, and Super Paper Mario, which was fine as well, I didn't mind that one. Um, Sticker Star was so bad though, and like a slog to get through. And then I thought Origami King was fine. Um, I should play Thousand Year Door. It's really kind of that one and the first one of the two I've not played. At some point, we'll get around to playing them on stream, but I've just never played them. And everything else in the series has just kind of been meh, so I don't really want to play them. Uh, Pikmin's a D tier game. I have only played Pikmin 3. I don't get it. It's not fun. It's a slog. Uh, it's boring. There's nothing to do. You have all of these weird item descriptions for like a Coca-Cola bottle and stuff. I just don't, I don't get Pikmin. Uh, playing as Olimar and Smash is kind of cool, but like the source material for it is like, like bad. Uh, Pokemon, obviously S tier. I don't really need to explain this one. My favorite franchise ever. Uh, I love Pokemon. Love every game. Uh, I loved Gen 8. I loved all the DLC. I love the Let's Go stuff. I love the remakes. I love the spinoffs. Like, yeah. Is everything that they do great? No. But is it terrible? No. It's perfect. I love it. Punch out. Uh, don't really care for punch out. The Wii one's kind of cool because you get like the motion controls. But other than that, it's just like a two button, you know, punch. There's a lot of like bad stereotypes in the game that are kind of disappointing in the modern era. It's fine. If a new one came out, I'd be interested in it. But that's that's that. <laughs> Never played a Rhythm Heaven game. Uh, I don't even think I own one. Um, and also I'm learning now, I didn't know Rhythm Heaven was even made by Nintendo. Um, one day maybe the opportunity will arise, but I'm over it. Uh, Smash Bros, obviously S tier. The culmination of some of the greatest characters to ever grace gaming. All in one uh, polished, pristine fighter. Probably the best fighter too, I'd say, out of all of like the main, you know, you got the Mortal Kombats. You got the Street Fighters and the Tekkens. Super Smash Bros is more fun than any of those in my opinion. 
Um, just an excellent gaming franchise that celebrates gaming more than any other game. Uh, hmm. I'm going to put Splatoon in B tier. I have only played Splatoon 1 on the Wii U. I have not played Splatoon 2. I want to preface that. I, I do own it. Uh, it's just not something I've ever played. I kind of don't get it. It's a little boring-ish. Like, there's, it's less of an FPS and more of like a paint the ground, I feel. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience, so that, obviously, this could change if I played more and enjoyed it. I wanted to do a Splatoon 2 stream at some point, and we've just been so busy um, lately with everything else going on with the channel starting to expand and and the stream starting to expand a little bit that it, there just hasn't been time to, like, slot in as much stuff as I want, but I digress. Star Fox? Oh... Sorry, dude. Star Fox is getting a D tier. Um, yeah, do a barrel roll. Haha. -ha. Uh, outside of that, though, it's like a twin stick shooter, right? Um, the couple that I've played, there is one that's kind of okay. I forget which one it is. I want to say it's on the Wii U. Um, but like, I've played Star Fox 64 DS. Not my cup of tea. Um, I played, there's like two Wii U games, right? Like a like a normal one and then like an inbox copy and I can't remember which one's which one of them you're like flying around shooting mechs in like 3d space is kind of cool one of them is a, a little more on rails I don't like the on rails stuff um I just don't care for that kind of game and I think that Star Fox feels clunky if they made a very polished modern one I think it actually could be fantastic but as it stands right now not my thing uh, I've never played a Starfy game there might only be like two that I know of. I think they might both be on like the DS's. But I've just never played them. Didn't know that they were a Nintendo property until now. Warrior Warriors like C tier. I, it's fine. It's a mini game collection. There's nothing spectacular about it. It doesn't really stand out in my opinion. Because a lot of the games are very meme-ish. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say. I've really. I've played probably all of the Warrior Warrior games. I actually think the Wario games. Like Wario Land. Is more fun than the Wario Wear style of game. But. It's not my it, they're fine there's nothing wrong with them but they're kind of you want you're left wanting a little bit more it feels like the variety always there is like one tap on the screen instead of an actual you know mario party kind of mini game uh xenoblade a tier i have played i think i have played i played all of the first one a couple of times and i have played maybe like six hours of two so i can't really base the whole series um, this was one of my favorite uh, franchises of all time, maybe like eight years ago um, when there was only one game. Now we've got three and a half. If you count Torna, I know it's kind of a standalone expansion kind of whatever, but um, lots of Xenoblade out there that I just have not time to play. Um, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles is or Xenoblade Chronicles X, excuse me, is extremely long. Um, and the most exciting part I know doesn't come until like two thirds of the way through the game when you finally get your mech thing. Um, so I just haven't had time to like sit down and delve into that, but, uh, at some point it'll come for sure. I'm going to give Yoshi a B tier. Um, Yoshi's Island, good game. Enjoyable. The first one, arguably a Mario game, but. Um, I think Yoshi's Island, especially the original is good and the DS, uh, upscale is nice as well. Uh, or is it? No, the DS one is its own standalone, right? The 3DS one is also its own standalone, which is kind of meh, but not bad. It's just kind of eh. Then you have Yoshi's Woolly World, which I actually think is pretty good. Uh, and then you have Yoshi's Crafted World, which I also think is pretty okay. Um, none of them except for maybe the first one are stellar, or the DS one, I think, is the one I'm thinking of, are stellar. But they're all fine in their own right. You know, it, it doesn't feel like a chore to finish them, but it also does not feel like you're doing anything new, right? It's just kind of a left to right, but in kind of a worse way than Mario. This one's probably going to annoy some people, but I'm going to put Zelda in the A tier. I like Zelda games. I have not played a ton of them. I've not played Breath of the Wild. I have not played... Um, Link to the past. I have not played uh, any of the good ones <laughs> that most people would say. I have not played Majora's Mask. Um, I have played Ocarina of Time, which I thoroughly enjoyed when I played it. Um, I have played Minish Cap, which I thought was fine. 
Um, and I have played what are the two simultaneous Game Boy uh, ones that I own. I don't remember. I, I might actually, I would like to look. Oh, I've played uh, four swords as well, which was bad. Not bad, but eh, whatever. Uh, is it the Oracle games? Zelda, Oracle. Are there two? Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. I've played those. Uh, and I think they're pretty good too. Um, overall, I like the idea of the Zelda franchise. I like the dungeon crawly-ish aspect of it. To me, it's just not these, right? Like, it falls in the same spot that Animal Crossing falls in, in that I'd love to like it more, but I have not played the banger of Zelda, obviously, because it's so long, and I'm looking for a shorter game to play <laughs> most of the time. Um, maybe at some point we can dive into Breath of the Wild, but it's just so daunting for me when, you know, I play eight to 10 hour games and that's how I like to play. And when you have a game that's, you know, 40 hours, I'm just kind of, eh. and I know you, it doesn't have to be, I could literally leave the starting zone and go try and fight Ganon. We're not going to do that. Uh, last but not least, we got arms. Uh, the newest franchise probably on this list. I'm going to give arms an A. I loved arms. I wish it got more support than it actually did. It felt like they kind of threw it out there and it didn't hit. Uh, sales perfectly and they gave up although they did put arms representation in smash with min min and uh, i was very pleased about that i think arms has a big future ahead of it they just need to make an arms 2 that's a little bit more polished and refined um and maybe really goes deep on how many arms you have you know not like physically but like you know, maybe there's 40 options for your arms um, and they have a cast of 25 characters. Make it make it large, make it impactful. Um, give a lot of option and decision. I think that's what this franchise needs, but I love the first one. Um, this is my list. This is everything. Nintendo owned franchises. Um, we can quickly, I'm not going to do the bottom tier, um, but we can quickly go through here and kind of sort these out i think these bottom ones would go like this actually i think pikmin would be last uh in the c tier i think paper mario punch out fire emblem kid Icarus warrior wear yeah that sounds right uh down in this tier definitely golden sun is first um probably followed by donkey kong bayonetta splatoon yoshi and mario and luigi uh, this tier is going to be very difficult. I think it's going to go Animal Crossing, Arms, Zelda, F-Zero, Mario Party. Probably F-Zero at the back. Yeah, that sounds right. And then at the top, we're going to go Pokemon, Kirby. Man, this is tough. Mario Kart, Mario Smash. Yeah. I think this, this is the list ordered in tier as well. So... Uh, that's going to do it for this uh, tiered list ranking video. This is going to be going up Friday this week, probably uh, early on in April. So, hey, happy April if you're watching this. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I do hope that you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.